I would like to give the floor to Judge Cloud Defense to clarify on the questions raised by the international co-prosecutor. The Chamber agrees with the prosecutor that the results of the discussion on resources and other related matters need to be public. It's a question on how to do this. Today's meeting was announced as closed, so opening it now wouldn't work. We don't want to waste time by rescheduling. We have all the relevant information sources here. We will find an appropriate way to make the results public. There are various ways to do it. We will decide on one. But yes, your main concern and certainly our objective is to discuss this publicly, in effect, in the end. Thank you, Judge Fens. I would like now to give the floor to the Acting Director and Deputy Director of Administration to clarify on the resources available for Kills and Punch Defense. Tony Krang. Good morning. President, good morning everyone Bonjour. in and around Président, the courtroom. Bonjour. Regarding this concern, and in my capacity as the acting director of administration, as well as my uh, counterpart, the deputy director de of administration, we have sufficient resources to respond to the demands de by the various parties, and we also have the uh, expertise by various representatives of uh, various sections of the ECC to organize the resources effectively by following the uh, proper internal uh, procedures that we have uh, been using so far within the ECC. In general, concerning the interpretation and uh, translation uh, issue dealing with the ITU, we have the uh, permanent staff on both section. national and international sides. Nous avons du, des permanents, des employés and permanents we also de côté, have uh, freelance interpreters que des and translators as well as consultants. consultants. For that reason, we have uh, sufficient resources and mechanisms to respond to the operation et and the internal demand pour à la by various institutions within the ECCC. That is all I would like to uh, say. Voilà ce que and dire. if the uh, President has any uh, more questions, then I am willing si to respond. Thank you. What about the defense support section? Do you have uh, matters to clarify it? In particular, the resources available for Q Sampon's defense. Why the chamber put forward this question is that on a Friday's la hearing, la question, team, que the defense team raised the lack of resources that bar them from working in parallel on participating in the proceedings in case 002-002, as well as the time necessary for them to prepare their brief and appeal against the uh, judgment in case 002-01 issued by the trial chamber. And that is the main focus of this particular uh, question, that is on the lack of the resources for Kios and Pons defense. As for Nunchia's defense, they did not raise the challenge of resources or availability of resources. So they had a different ground for not participating in case 
Zero Moitié true slash zero pousse, true. La défense de Nguyen Chien n'a pas participé aux audiences du dossier 002 par 02. Our main focus here is about the available resources through a support. Donc nous parlons ici des Kills ressources Bonds mises à la, à la disposition de la so défense de Kyo Sampo pour through a find ways of whether there is any supplementary service or coordination so that this team is in a position to do both tasks simultaneously that is to make themselves available to attend the proceedings participate aux audiences until the end of this year as scheduled by the trial chamber as well as to make themselves time available for the preparation of the appeal son appel. of the judgment issued by this chamber. You may proceed. Vous avez la parole. Acting Director, thank you, Mr. President, for Comment highlighting this particular issue. For general resources, we do not have any uh, problem with that. But when it comes to allocation and distribution of available resources for various uh, sections, in particular for Kyo's and Pons defense, I'd like to give the floor to Mr. Knut Rosenhock to provide clarification on this matter. Thank you. Good morning, judges. Good morning, co-prosecutors and civil parties. Bonjour, Madame, Monsieur, juges, um, thank you for civil. allowing the Office of Administration Merci this um, opportunity to clarify. Now, in general terms first, and then I will go to Je the specific questions ensuite, asked in the memo. Uh, I go back point point to the trial point management point. meeting in Je December last year, where the resource issue was tabled by the same defense team. At that point in resources. time, there was a concern a of moment, downscaling of resources in the period that the verdict was uh, being deliberated by the trial chamber. Alors que la chambre I confirm then and I confirm now that resources were made available to all defense teams throughout this period of time, so from December through September, uh, as before, so no change. Then, um, in that same time period, there has been no specific tangible request from any of the teams to in de increase de the resources pour les compared to the budget. Uh, so what was in the budget, from my angle, was deemed satisfactory de vue, since I never received a request to increase de Now, de obviously, there is ongoing request on how to utilize the money made available to them. Des typical demandes, turnover of staff, consultancies, and so on and so forth, des qui leur sont I'm uh, excluding all those, and there has been, been certain turnover, which of course Il y a aussi des limits the capacity in periods of time. But that's not a resource issue. So one of the questions was, has there been any specific request to increase Cusampan's resources? De no. De de Cusampan. Until non. October. Until this month, October, ce mois there was then a submission made to the trial chamber, a été fait but de not de to increase the resources of the defense team. Pas pour les the request was to increase resources to ITU. Mais pour la we de then received a memorandum from the chamber la a uh, to memorandum. ensure that necessary resources was given to ITU, and we are acting upon that as we speak. In addition to the released human resources, which earlier was pinned down in work on the verdict, now being made available for other work, we have taken on board additional staffers and more are in the pipeline. So we are acting on it. So ITU is then expanding its capacity. Donc, there is de one more request from the DSS filed in October, Il y a aussi une most likely par not known by the chamber, 
Um, that is still pending because of the justification Toujours which was made. Namely, to increase not the team's et, et available human resources, but the pay of the individuals already on the team. Pas le nombre de so membres du personnel de ces équipes, mais plutôt d'augmenter la rémunération, c'est-à-dire que chacun d'entre eux devrait recevoir plus d'argent car ils travaillaient plus. Now my reply to DSS has been uh, a holding reply. I want to see if that increase in work materializes if there is in fact double work to be done, meaning the appeal and the trial lieu, in parallel -il donc un dédoublement uh, before de la tâche I um, entre uh, reply to the request. Et so it's not, it's not de répondre, donc de... uh, dismissed, it's not rejected, but it's also not Granted. But I, I, I would like to say uh, once again that it is not more hands on deck, it's more money to those who are already on board. That's the universe of requests that we have gotten from DSS about extra resources. On the last question on priority of translations, my understanding, and I can be complimented by ITU if need be, my understanding is that that specific defense team, that particular defense team, is working in a chronological order, so first in, first out. So whatever they ask to be translated has to be translated in that order. If not specifically prioritized ad hoc. So every now and then they may add, do this first. And if so is done, the ITU will prioritize that specific request. But there is no other formula for, for priority of translation. Il n'y a euh, rien euh, de formalisé pour euh, prioriser les traductions. I think I would that have answered the three questions. Uh, Je hopefully pense avoir satisfactory. répondu Thank you. aux trois questions. Je vous remercie. Thank you. I now turn to présidents. the Merci. members of the uh, bench. If you have any question uh, to put to the Office of Administration or relevant staff of the office, uh, or you want to seek a further clarification, services, which has already been enlightened by the Office of Administration. Judge Fens, you may proceed. I first have a follow-up question when it comes to resources and after we have finished the resources issue, I want to tackle two further issues. One is generally about payment of lawyers and the other one is about replacement of lawyers. But let's start with the resources issue. Let me first sum up. In July 2013, evidentiary proceedings in case 021 ended. In August 2014, the judgment was delivered, and the first request for additional resources from the Khoi Sampang team came in October 2014. Is this correct? As for my office, yes, that is correct. Maybe I can ask uh, the coordinator why you to oui. compliment. Uh, that is correct. Thank you. Um, oui, now, the exact. <coughs> I know that the Nunchia defense team has not raised Je the issue, but in order to be complete, de let de me ask the same question for the Nunchia team. Has the Nunchia team any time since, let's say, July 2013, which was the end of evidential proceedings, requested further resources from the administration. As for my office, no. And then again, I will ask ITU to compliment. 
pour la traduction et l'interprétation. Thank you. This is all I need to know about the resources before I go to the next subject. C'est tout ce que je voulais savoir. Are there any further questions to that? Passer aux autres sujets, mais est-ce qu'il y a d'autres questions à ce sujet? Yes, I understand that the financial issue is going to be dealt with, but before that, could the administration tell us concretely what are the means in terms of staff, in terms of human resources that each team is availed with? number of lawyers working, number of jurists, and possibly the number of translators assigned to each team. Uh, thank you. Uh, I will ask head of DSS to answer the breakdown of the resources given to each team because it falls under the autonomy of the SS. Of the and then I think uh, for the translation part, what is not covered by DSS, I will ask si, the ITU uh, to la section d'appui à la défense n'a pas répondu à cette allowed. question, je demanderai à la section traduction et interprétation de répondre si vous nous le permettez. Um, good morning, Your Honours. Uh, good morning, prosecutors. Good morning, civil party co-lawyers. Um, Bonjour. Uh, Regarding the resources given to the defense teams and specifically the breakdown, I'd like to inform the chamber as follows. Each defense team uh, has one Cambodian co-lawyer and one international co-lawyer. There's allocation for the payment of one on each team. Um, where there are multiple co-lawyers, for example, the Q-Sampan team that has two international co-lawyers, the salary allocated for one co-lawyer is split up between the two or more. So Ms. Gissi and Mr. Verken each receive half of a salary. Each team is also entitled to a case manager, and that is on the separate budget line. Now, in addition to the co-lawyers and case manager, there is one budget line for about $210,000 per year for the recruitment of other support staff. That is the budget line under which the legal consultants, um, experts, um, and uh, evidence analysts are um, recruited. That's the budget from which they are paid. So uh, the Qsimpan team and the Nunchia team each has $210,000 for that. And as the deputy director uh, just stated, during the trial management meeting, in December of 2013, the teams were concerned that part of that budget might be reduced because of the reduced level of activity. His answer then, as now, was that no, the budget remained the same in 2014 as it was in 2013. Um, now, within this budget, there are, of course, um, uh, differences. From time to time, some, some support staff leave the court for various reasons, and others have to be recruited, so adjustments have to be made. Within the budget itself, the 210,000 budget, there are different levels of consultants. Um, the highest level, level four, the consultants with the most experience are paid higher than those at the lowest level, level one. So it's uh, really up to the individual defense team to to determine how they will allocate those $210,000 in the course of the year. Uh, they may recruit, for example, one senior person and multiple junior persons so that the amount of money is evenly spread out. Uh, I hope that answers your question, but I'm ready to provide further detail if, if requested. In terms of translation, uh, the teams don't have their own translators. No translators are allocated or assigned to each defense team because ITU works as a pool. And as work comes in, it is allocated by language combination to the available staff. And if there's not enough staff in-house, it is outsourced either to translation agencies or to freelance interpreters and translators. Des 
pour le fonctionnement de chaque équipe, je pense qu'il y a besoin éventuellement de, de, de traduction en, en interne, il a pas de traduction écrite, mais simplement de, de pouvoir rapidement prendre connaissance d'un document. Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire Quels sont en dehors de la traduction are, proprement dit, aside from translation des services per se, particuliers qui sont offerts à chacune des équipes, et en particulier à l'équipe de Cusampan. Teams, and in particular to, uh, the Cusampan team. Il n'y a pas de service particulier There is no particular service that is provided, uh, offert aux équipes. Uh, to the teams, uh, uh, en ce qui concerne l'équipe well, de Cusampan, la pratique est la suivante. Team, the is the Lorsque l'équipe nous envoie un document à traduire, a document soit to elle indique les extraits dont elle a besoin rapidement, et ces extraits quickly, sont traduits en priorité, ou elle demande l'ordre dans lequel les textes vont être traduits. The the text text traduit, lorsque le texte est traduit, avant la révision, revision, une copie de courtoisie est fournie à l'équipe pour lui permettre de travailler. Et ensuite, a, in order to allow le texte to work, révisé and then est remis à l'équipe. Text is given to the team uh, at the proper moment. Donc, je, je reviens so, vers Monsieur Andelay. Uh, uh, si j'ai bien compris ce que vous avez dit, Endele, if I understood properly what you said, de the two defense teams d'une façon strictement are égale. managed in a perfectly equal way. Exactement they enjoy the same resources in, in terms of staff terms de as well budget. as in terms of budget. Uh, que, juste une précision, so que les just a point of clarification, les, uh, the uh, non -pen et budgets le lieu regarding de the transport between Compen and some of the international lawyers, is, un is this budget included uh, among the $210,000 or is this something uh, uh, that... Merci, uh, le juge Laverne. Thank you, oui, Judge vous avez Yes, you are absolutely right. Um, the two teams, teams de façon are égale, dealt with in a perfectly equal way. The funds allocated de to, to the Kyosampan team are mêmes. exactly the same. Que as uh, the funds uh, allocated to the uh, Nunchia defense. Uh, ce qui est par now, with regard de, to the, um, du budget des, des voyages, des the travel uh, budget, budget à part. this is a separate budget. Uh, uh, alors, ça so this has no uh, des, des de, de influence uh, on the traveling of the lawyers. We have one pour single les, les budget for all of the lawyers and the teams uh, for their travel. Est-ce que, M. Andelay, vous pouvez nous dire, Andelay, nous savons que tell us, uh, les avocats de l'équipe ou uh, que de l'équipe de Nunchia résident ici au Cambodge de façon permanente, est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire ce qu'il en est en ce qui concerne les avocats de M. Kyosampan Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire combien de jours, votre naissance, si vous le savez, if you know ils ont séjourné au Cambodge depuis le prononcé verdict was issued. Monsieur le juge, je well, n'ai pas Honor, pris, um, je n'ai pas compté exactement le nombre de jours uh, exactly qu'ils ont, qu ont séjourné uh, ici uh, uh, depuis le verdict, mais je sais que But I know au that, moment uh, du prononcé du verdict au mois d'août dernier, August, les deux avocats internationaux étaient là, international puis here, ils sont partis et ils sont revenus, tous les deux sont back. ici en ce moment. Ah, mais je n'ai pas right compté now, le nombre de jours, ah, ils ont vécu uh, surtout, uh, selon les termes here. de leur contrat, And ils ne sont pas obligés as well, à, à résider ici à Phnom Penh. Ils sont obligés simplement d'être présents lors des audiences, mais ils ne sont pas obligés de résider en permanence à Phnom Penh. Merci. Thank you. Monsieur Andelay, est-ce que vous êtes amené Mr. à Andelay, effectuer un contrôle uh, de, du travail effectivement réalisé par les avocats Uh, oui, Monsieur le juge, yes, uh, chaque Your Honor, mois, each month, um, bon, pour, uh, pour chaque mois, ils doivent well, nous soumettre au préalable, uh, c'est-à-dire uh, le mois précédent, ils doivent soumettre à la DSS well, the, the un programme that, uh, de, DSS, de, de travail, program. par exemple, pour le mois de novembre prochain, for next ils devraient déjà, gonna, le 20 they, octobre, nous soumettre un programme de travail to pour indiquer uh, les tâches qu'ils entendent entreprendre lors du mois de novembre. Et à la fin donc, du mois de novembre, ils vont nous soumettre submit, uh, their, um, une, des justifications pour réclamer la uh, rémunération. Uh, et ça devrait correspondre à ce qui avait été autorisé au préalable par la DSS. 
Donc, so, à votre Judge connaissance, Tavernier, depuis, as as you know, le, since, um, depuis le prononcé du verdict et même depuis avant, depuis la fin des audiences, est-ce que les demandes qui vous ont été adressées Were the requests that were addressed to you, were these requests that corresponded à to half-time work les, uh, les, for de de the Kyosampan defense lawyers, or did this partiel, correspond to part-time that, uh, uh, that did not correspond entirely to, let's say, a full-time uh, occupation? Les plans pour tous les mois depuis la fin des audiences dans le premier procès jusqu'à présent correspondent clairement à un travail à temps plein pour tous les avocats de Kyosan Pan Defense Team. Je vous remercie. J'aurai d'autres questions, mais je pense que je vais vous les poser. Merci. Je pense que mes collègues ont aussi des questions à vous poser. Judge Fens, please. I have three follow-up questions. The first one is directly to Mr. Enderley. So I understand correctly, lawyers were also paid on a full-time basis in the time when we were writing the judgment? Um, yes, Your Honor, um, that is correct. They were paid on a full-time basis. Thank you. The second question, since uh, we have started talking, Mr. Enderley, to you, um, I note that at least so far the non chia team hasn't complained about the resources beyond what all of us are doing all the time, complaining about the lack of resources. Um, while the Kyo Pang team has made that, well, a legal argument for boycotting proceedings. Can you tell us any reason why these teams see the situation so differently? Pouvez-vous nous expliquer, à votre avis, pourquoi les deux équipes semblent avoir une vision si différente um, Your Honor, I can't answer specifically for either Réponse. team, but I can tell you generally Madame that Juge, my understanding of the situation is that Mr. Kusimpan instructed his team, his defense lawyers, not to participate in case two, part two, under the current circumstances. It is not my understanding that the lawyers willfully boycotted the proceedings. They were instructed by their client not to participate, and I further understand that he, as a defendant, believes that he has the right to participate fully in his own defense, and at his age, under the circumstances, he thought he might not be able to fully participate in a trial and simultaneously in an appeal. He chose, for those reasons, for now, to participate in the um, appeal and then maybe later on in the trial. That is my understanding, Your Honor. I know that these are the arguments of the Kyo Pang team. Um, you might not be the right adressee for the question, but to put it on record, um, wouldn't you agree that the limits of obedience of a lawyer when it comes to what his client asks him to do is the law? Uh, pour un avocat, lorsqu'il reçoit une demande de son client, il doit s'en tenir à la loi. That's probably a trick question, but uh, I'll try and to And you don't have to answer if you don't wish to. Well, I, I can attempt to answer, uh, and I, I would say that the, the, the law differs from one jurisdiction to another. In, in some um, of the co-lawyers uh, jurisdictions, the obligation to follow a lawyer's a, a client's instructions might be different. Let me move to Ms. Rosenhauk. Um, this is the issue of translators and translators being provided to specifically to certain defense teams or interpreters. Now, I, I seem to remember at one time there was a practice in place whereupon teams could request an interpreter or translator for this in-team communication. Could, could you clarify this? Thank you. Yes, uh, Your Honor, you are right. Um, at the time, it was a different. <coughs> sorry. It was a different team, uh, which had a, uh, a different type of issue uh, being um, addressed. But it, it was a language issue, and then the team was offered to recruit its own language resource. 
l'équipe uh, and I assume if need be the head of the DSS will elaborate on the experience from my office to DSS that offer stands to all teams so we don't differentiate within the teams or within the issues so the offer stands that beyond the allocation of the legal team we stand ready to support each team with ad hoc resources on language issues, but I have not received such requests. Perhaps, Mr. Enderly, since you have been referred to. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, yes, indeed. Earlier this year, we had um, the opportunity to offer to one of the other defense teams in another case um, the option of integrating a translator within the team to assist uh, with language issues uh, because they had similar problems about the timeliness of uh, translations coming from ITU. That experience did not turn out to be so good um, for a variety of reasons. Um, one of the reasons, I believe, was that um, the defense team required the translator to produce a lot more than translators normally produce um, by the terms of the contract, say with ITU or in the UN practice in general. Another difficulty was that um, the translator integrated in the team was required to work in multiple languages. Typically, a translator works from one language, from one source language to a target language. But because of the nature of the work of the team, they required the person to do more in terms of quantity, also in terms of quality. Um, and they were getting this person to do other things like verifying footnotes, which maybe reference assistants would typically do in a translation firm or in the ITU. So it was, very, it was too complicated, and that experience lasted, I think, barely one week, and the person resigned. Um, so we've not repeated it, but the option is still available yesterday. Has the Kusampang team or the Nunchia team ever asked for this resource? Uh, not specifically, Your Honor. Because of that experience with another team, we have not really offered it to them. Thank you. The President. Thank you. Next, I turn to the Office of Co-Prosecutors. Do you have Le any observation or question for clarification to be put to the Office of Administration in relation to the issue raised by the defense team for Kyusampon? L'argument de la défense de Kyusampon. If you have any observation si or question, you may proceed. The President, how about the Office of Lead Co-Lawyers for the Civil Party? Do you have any observation or clarification to be made in relation to the resources made available to the defense team for Q Sampon? President, Judge Lavenge, you may proceed, please. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Yes, thank you. J'ai une autre question qui ne concerne pas directement les ressources, mais qui concerne de façon générale les facilités offertes aux équipes de défense pour rencontrer leurs clients, en particulier Monsieur Kersampan et Monsieur Kersampan et Nunchea, qui sont maintenant détenus. Je voudrais savoir si l'administration a été De, de, de remarques ou de has demandes any remarks to make regarding this or uh, has experienced any kinds of difficulties regarding the fact that the conditions existing are not sufficient to allow for proper communication between uh, the defense teams and their clients. Uh, to my knowledge, uh, no, we have not experienced any 
uh, complaint uh, pas on that basis. Reçu, uh, ce genre de plainte. Maybe just for the record, Your Honours, uh, I confirm that also my office is not aware of any issue on, uh, in that regard. And I may also ask the head of the SS to complement. Um, th thank you. Uh, I don't believe there are any yes, issues. There are none that have been brought to our attention. I should just maybe inform the chamber that the, the practice that we have in DSS is that each time um, there is a change in the composition of the defense teams, uh, DSS sends a letter to the head of the detention facility uh, indicating all the team members. For example, if there's a new consultant, even if there's a new intern on each defense team, we notify the detention facilities, a uh, facility management, and list the people who are authorized to visit the accused. So um, there is no, there has not been any problem recently. Voilà, sauf erreur de ma part, euh, je crois que M. Kiosampan a été hospitalisé pendant une semaine au mois de septembre. septembre. Euh, Est-ce que il est Possible Is it aux possible de défense, for the defense teams to be in touch with encore, their clients été de quelques, in euh, such moments? Que ce soit And des have éventuelles. you also uh, received any complaints regarding possible difficulties in that regard? Thank you, Your Honor. Maybe I should answer that one. Uh, Yes, it is possible to get access to the client while hospitalized, but a certain procedure has to be followed. Uh, without going into details, uh, obviously the medical condition of the client overrides uh, whatever needs of defense. So at the end of the day, it's a doctor's call. The procedure is simplified that they have to inform in advance through the staff of the detention center, which then will inform the hospital. And then they will be given a window where they get access. Uh, there has been occasions where doctors have said no, not now. That we cannot override. That's why they are hospitalized. Thank you. Euh, changer cette décision, c'est parce qu'ils sont hospitalisés. Judge Fens. Uh, I now want to turn to the second issue, which is the issue of payment of lawyers. Could you please, for the record, one of you, clarify how lawyers, and I'm only interested in the defense lawyers at the moment, are paid at this court. What I mean, are we talking monthly salaries? Are we talking paid per filing or per day sitting in court? Are we talking a combination of those two? I'm not interested in numbers, but in the system. Thank you. As this falls within the autonomy of DSS, I will invite the head of DSS to answer. Um, thank you, Your Honor. Um, let me start by just explaining for the support staff. Um, the case manager and the legal consultants, um, evidence analysts and other um, experts working on the defense teams are paid a flat, a fixed monthly salary. Um, they receive that we certify at the end of the month, or the lawyers certify to us that the work assigned to them has been performed satisfactorily, and in return the DSS certifies to the um, human resources section and the finance sections to pay the support staff members a flat salary, a fixed salary, different levels for different um, amounts of uh, experience. Regarding the call lawyers, however, um, the salary is on an hourly basis. The call lawyers um, at this court are, to, are authorized to work for up to 150 hours per month. And they're remunerated on an hourly basis. Um, sometimes they may work a little less, sometimes they work a little more, but the maximum that they're paid each month can be only for up to 150 hours for each uh, call lawyer. Uh, I gave you earlier the example of the two international call lawyers for QSAMPAN. Um, for the last few months, for example, each of them has been paid for only 
a maximum of 75 hours of work per month. Chacun d'entre eux a été rémunéré à hauteur de 75 heures de Which amounts to the max. Yeah, if you combine both, then it's 100. Which amounts to the maximum. Correct, Your Honor. Et on arrive au plafond. And so there is no additional payment for filings or so. Donc, il n'y a pas de uh, no, Your Honor, it's not uh, per piece that we pay them. Déposées, um, it's for the overall réponse, work that they're doing uh, in, in a month. Ils ne sont pas rémunérés par pièce, yes. Second question. par um, How are cases 021 uh, and 022 treated for the purpose of paying the lawyers? Are they treated as de, one case uh, or are they treated uh, as two cases? Dossiers, uh, um, for administrative purposes, Your Honor, we, we treat them as one case because the, each lawyer is assigned to an accused or a suspect, not for a trial or a particular procedure. They are assigned to represent an individual, and so they're paid for representing that individual uh, throughout. Um, I'll move because it's easier to my last subject. As I said, it deals with um, well, recruiting additional counsel or replacement of counsel. Now I understand. Oh, now let me first, sorry, before I start this, is this, what you have just told us pertains to international lawyers. Is the payment system the same for national lawyers? Yes, Your Honor, it's the same system, except that perhaps the rates where you said you're not interested in the figures, the, the pay rates are different, but the system is exactly the same. Thank you. So getting back to additional counsel or replacements, I understand you are having a list of international counsel who are potentially available for recruitment here. Is this correct? Uh, yes, Your Honor, uh, DSS is required by the rules to maintain lists of counsel, both national and international. Yes. As far as you can tell, how long would it take to get, well, perhaps the answer is different for international and national counsel, but either of them on board, if you can answer that? Uh, yes, Your Honor, I can. As a matter of fact, I do have a very recent example from earlier this year. Um, in another case, um, GSS was required to recruit an international co-lawyer for, for a suspect, and it took us approximately four months um, from the time the order was made to the time that the person was officially assigned, four months. Can you give an example for a national lawyer for recruitment? of a national lawyer? Um, in the same matter, it took us a little less than half of that amount of time, so maybe about six weeks, no, not quite two months, to get a national lawyer. Um, but it could have taken less if we had found somebody who was willing or able, available. Mm -hmm. um, the last question, this context is well, probably Question. to the administration. Um, would, could the budget accommodate two sets of lawyers? Thank you, Your Honor. Currently, we, en, uh, we do not envisage that scenario of a double setting. But as referred to, we were ordered to do so in another case. And we did so. So again, if the transaction was so direct, we will implement that decision. Thank you. That's all I have for the time being. Thank you, and Chancellor Vergeur. Oui, Monsieur Andelé, vous nous avez Mr. dit Andelé, que uh, les avocats uh, étaient affectés à un accusé et pas à un dossier. Accused, Donc, not est que vous avez fait un calcul du budget, que du coût que représente la défense pour un accusé sur une année for Quel est le one budget accused in one single year. La défense d'un accusé sur une année. How much does it cost en for total, the defense of one single accused person uh, in one single national, case? And that would tout. include the international lawyer, the national lawyer, oui, uh, and merci, all other support staff. 
Oui, effectivement. Thank you, Judge Laverne. Pour le budget de l'année 2014, le budget global pour la représentation de chacun des accusés dans le dossier numéro 2 s'élève à environ 600 000 dollars par an par accusé. Le Président. Merci, M. le juge Laverne. The discussion on the issue of uh, resources has come to a conclusion, and the Chamber voilà would like to thank the Deputy jour, Director and the Acting Director, as well as the Head of the DSS, the ITU, and the Defense, colleagues de la de la who appeared this morning during this meeting and uh, provide us with some clarification. Nous vous remercions des précisions que vous avez apportées. And actually, you may now be excused from the meeting. Thank you. Merci.